Hello everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And we are moving on level 4 here. And this is the normal way to make these jumps here. Okay, really nothing in those stairs down there. That just leads down to a little basement area that um, has some water in it. And no, don't try to go get that key, because it's actually, um, gonna be stuck in the water, so you can't reach it. Okay, that's a little hint for later on. So we'll keep that in mind for now. Um, again, you can make this jump to get to the treasure chest is kind of tricky because you don't really have room. Again, no penalties for sinking in water, so... A little interesting trick here, you can actually just bounce off the wall and get on the land here. Alright, another 50 rupees there. Now note that um, block right there, you may have, you probably did get a glimpse of it. Um, that's gonna be where you can get yourself screwed up on. Alright, at the end of the line here, we find a small key. Now, remember that locked block you just saw? Um, this is where this glitch is gonna get involved here. Now, you actually can make this jump. If you dash and uh, jump, if you can get just the right angle, you can actually make that jump. Get through the door and waste your key on that block. If you do that, you are going to be stuck permanently. Because you need a key to open this door. Um, well, the item in this level is flippers. You know, lets you swim, obviously. But if you waste your key, the only way, the only key left is this one in the hole, and you need the flippers to get that key. However, you need a key to get into the rooms back here to get the flipper. So basically, it's a loop. Long story short, it's an infinite loop, and you're you're totally stuck. Alrighty, so um, easy enough for mini boss because you just have to hit it on its side. Alright, so we can actually get the flippers here, so we can now swim. So yeah, if you're gonna try some that glitch, do, do not save your game, because then you're totally stuck. You have to start over. Alright, so we get into this room here. Got some annoying enemies. Helmosaurus there. Okay, so here you will find some flashing tiles that go in a certain pattern. Uh, you want to keep that, uh, keep that pattern in mind. Because this room here has the same arrangement of tiles. So we want to go on the same arrangement. And no, you cannot jump on the tiles. It, that doesn't count. It doesn't count to jump on the tiles, you actually have to touch them from land. So, meaning you've got to be able to swim. And that makes a hidden stairway. More thwomps there. And this takes you all the way to this chest that at the beginning that you couldn't reach. Gives you the Nightmare's key right there. 
Now, normally you'd have to go back. Now that you can swim, you can get that one key um, that you have to... Again, you have to be able to swim to get that key. But here, you can just make a little diagonal jump and skip your way to the boss. I mean, that's not even a hard jump to make. That's a very easy jump to make, and you basically skip a little section of this level. Alright, going underwater here. So we're going to be battling on the water here. And against this big, giant fish here. Food. This boss is already toast in like 10 seconds here, and even the game gets confused here. The music is still... the boss music is still playing here. Apparently, it didn't expect me to win that quickly. Even before it got to say its message, I was already doing damage to it. Alrighty then, so that finishes off another level. Now, you actually don't need to do anything to get to the next level. You actually can go straight into the next level right now, but, you know, we're gonna get some stuff first. There's plenty of stuff to get around here. Uh, first thing we can do is just go straight left into this cave. Find this big fish. And we're gonna listen to this rather cheesy song here. Rolling its eye there, that's kind of weird. It's like more some sort of tropical song here. And we get a free song here. Um, this one is optional, you don't need to get this song to beat the game, but it's actually kind of convenient. Outside of levels, it warps you to a very specific spot. Um, inside the levels, it actually warps you back to the beginning, so it's actually kind of convenient. Alright, you'll find a cave here. It looks like just an empty pool of deep water, right? Well, start diving underneath, and you'll find a rather randomly placed piece of heart there. I mean, I guess that one, if you search hard enough, you'll, you know, you'll kind of realize the dive under there. Alrighty, um, we can go under this point here. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go kind of take a swimming tour around the castle here. Yeah, kind of random. Oh, there's a ghost there, we'll discuss that later. Uh, but if you swim down to around this area here, you know, nothing here, right? So let's dive right there, and you will find a piece of heart. This is probably the hardest piece of heart to find in the entire game. I, I'm not sure how you are supposed to know that. At all. It is just in no man's land. There's no patterns, there's nothing to even hint that there's a piece of heart there. I mean, unless there were arrows pointing to it or something I missed. I don't know how you are supposed to know that there's a piece of heart right there. I mean, you're not going to dive under every inch of water in the game to try to find it. I mean, there's just no way you could do that. Again, this game has probably some of the worst... 
positioned um, pieces apart ever. A lot of these don't even give you clues as to where they're located, so... I mean, now it's not hard to find them because you can always look them up. You know, plenty of Let's Plays on this, um... People writing up game facts and... Or, you know, FAQs of the game and then, uh... You, you know, you can easily look this stuff up now. Before, I mean, you you know, you would have had to just kind of get lucky. Alrighty, um, so we got this ghost right here. And, um... We're gonna have to... It's kind of random where to go with this thing, but... But I'll show you where you need to take this ghost here. Actually, we can go here first. Uh, we got that flower. Uh, this person wants the flower here. Apparently, we have to be really polite here. Alright, so we gotta take this letter to someone who lives basically on the other side of the world. <laughs> great, with an exclamation point and a question mark. I mean, we, we really don't peek inside the letter to see. Alright, um... So there's the entrance to the next level. Okay, we're not gonna go there yet, because there's more stuff we can pick up here. Uh, you'll find a house pretty much right next to the beach where you kind of had a little talk with Marin. Uh, if you go in here, um... Really, nothing happens. Doesn't look much like a house. Looks like a really broken place here. Okay, so we gotta take this thing to its... ...grave. Um... I'm trying to think of the fastest way to that grave. Okay, this thing is really annoying to take out. I, I, I can't wait till I actually get the, the means to take this thing out. I can kind of play by my own rules here. One of the cheapest weapons in the game. Um, we're actually not that far away from it, so... I can't wait to get that weapon. Actually, in general, there are a lot of broken weapons in this game, um, in terms of strength. Most weapons you think would do, you know, wouldn't be that strong, but they're actually quite strong. Now we have, uh, 17... ...shells at this time. Okay, right by level 3, you can swim to this thing. Get another seashell right there. So that gives us number 18. And actually, we're not that far from... Uh, the grave here, so... You may have actually noticed it early on when we were exploring. It's actually right there. Alright, so I guess I'll take a break here and we'll do more trading stuff in the next part. Alright, see you guys later.